Good morning and welcome to Great Day Washington. I'm Ellen Bryan. And I'm Kristen Bursett Harris. We've got some Valentine's okay. dinner ideas. So if you haven't thought of something for your loved one, we got a good one for you. Plus, we're breaking down the red carpet fashion from last night's Oscars. But first, as always, after these big award shows, we are joined by our friend Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier. Good morning, Kevin. Hey, hey, ladies, how are you? I better be in your red carpet fashion segment. Oh, you always look winner. A winner. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was it like there? What was yeah. the atmosphere like last night? Um, you know what? It was really kind of cool because the red carpet wasn't packed and crowded, but it also was, you know what? It was great to see Brad Pitt get his due oh, yeah. last night. It was the culmination of a long run for him. I was so happy he won. Um, and I talked to him exclusively on the red carpet. What does this night mean and what it could be and the excitement of tonight? Um, it is that it's our, you know, it's our highest honor, and it's exciting. You know, it's a long, it's a, it's a long run. So uh, it's exciting to get to the end. It's exciting to, for it to be the, the biggest of the biggest, and it'll be exciting to, you know, get back to work again. To all the wonderful people I've met along the way, to stand here now. Once upon a time in Hollywood, ain't that the truth? I mean, kudos to him. And also, yes. I, I, got, I have to shout out his company, Plan B. Um, they do a great job with diversity and making diverse projects and films. So Brad is doing a great job. Okay, have you two seen Parasite? That's what I want to know. Yes, yes, I have. Parts Both of us. You have? Yes. Your thoughts? Your, were your, I were liked your, it. I did thought you love it, it was a little dark at the end, but I feel like that is what everyone says yes. has driven the movie to where it is today. Well, and I know people talk too. It like, got, do, do I have to go to the movie theater and read the whole time? You know, that you I think has kept yeah. some people from seeing it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's tough to sit there and read for two hours. Right. I mean, you go in and you have to focus harder than you do at home. But um, Bong Joon Ho, who is the director of this movie, was the man uh, last night and he was the big winner. But um, I talked to him beforehand and I asked him, where did you get this movie from? <laughs> What is going on in your mind to come up with a movie like that? Because it is original, it is oh, interesting, yeah. it's also crazy as hell. Because I'm weirdo. <laughs> I thought so. I could tell. Um, he's a, and, and you know what? Here's the cool thing. This movie will now be turned into a mini series by HBO and Americanized. So if you okay. have not seen nice. Parasite, then you will get an American version of it very, very soon. Adam McKay is going to help um, direct the American version of it. So a deal has been done for that. Um, you know, ladies, throughout the entire award season, Joaquin Phoenix has mm -hmm. run the table. And when he gets up there, Sometimes he has been as erratic as his, as his character <laughs> in The Joker during his acceptance speeches, uh -huh. let's be honest. But last night, I thought he was on the mark. Listen up. And I'm grateful, but so many of you in this room have given me a second chance. And I think that's when we're at our best, when, when we support each other, not when we cancel each other out for past mistakes, but when we help each other to grow, when we educate each other, when we guide each other towards redemption. That is the best of humanity. When he was 17, my brother wrote this lyric. He said, run to the rescue with love and peace will follow. Thank you. I was touched by that, and I thought it was a perfect ending to the run mm -hmm. for him, that he kind of pulled it all in and pulled it together. I just got um, a little teared up just was listening also... to him right then and uh -huh. there, Kev. I mean, you see guys right? like Joaquin right? Phoenix that has a lot of success, Brad Pitt that has a lot of success, right. and it's nice to see them really know and understand what this moment is mm -hmm. for them. I agree 100%, and he did take the whole moment in. Yeah. Um, you know, there was a lot of talk about diversity last night. Um, there were not a lot of nominees that, of color, so that was an issue. But one of the cool moments was when the animated short Hair Love won, and yes. it was directed by a former professional athlete, a guy named Matthew A. Cherry, played NFL football. And the cool thing is it's the same category that Kobe Bryant won in two mm. years ago. And Kobe called Matthew when he got nominated. We talked to him afterwards. 
Wasn't lost on us that you won the same category that Kobe Bryant won two years ago. Did that sit with you? Yeah, yeah, no, I was thinking about it all the time. You know, I mean, um, you know, he shouted us out uh, when we got nominated. Um, obviously, he won two years ago. He was the first former athlete. Now I'm the second um, to win an Oscar. So it's just, it's insane. I mean, um, such a tragedy. And all we can do is uh, try to continue his legacy and hopefully um, inspire more people that they can have more than one career. And you know, when you think of the hashtag girl dad that was um, making the rounds mm -hmm. after Kobe passed away, you, you can think of this movie, which is about yeah. dads doing their daughter's hair. So I, I, I love the idea behind this animated short. Okay, second year in a row, ladies, with no hosts. What did you think? Oh, I thought Steve Martin and Chris Rock were fantastic off the top. And then you had the second duo, Maya Rudolph and Kristen Wiig, and they were even better. I didn't mind not having a host. There was parts where that I it liked like those combos, but then there was some random yep. ones kind of popped in, oh. and that didn't make any <laughs> sense to me. You know what? That make I hear what you're saying. Can we real quick show you the two you just talked about? Mm -hmm. Watch this. Jeff Bezos is here. Oh, Jeff Bezos! Wow, great actor. <laughs> <laughs> Cheek to cheek. Cheek to cheek. And a thong, 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 thong. They're so yes. good. They were funny. Yes. They were so good. But I, I hope a host returns next year. I hope they go mm. out and get a host. I know nobody in Hollywood wants to touch the job right now. <laughs> but I hope they go out and they find their new Billy Crystal, you know? And about, I think streamlining it a little bit, and then also maybe that would help shorten it a little bit. I don't yeah, know, because it it's still long. such a long, long I, uh, Can I nominate yeah. Kevin Frazier yes. to host next year, Kevin? I like that idea. I'm all in. I am all nice. in. I am all in. If I'm there, will you do the red carpet if I host the show? Yes. We are there for you. Yes, Absolutely. we will. We've got you have been with us all one way or the other. All award season, yes. Kev. We appreciate you, you. And now you can hopefully try and get some rest. I know it's been a long one for you. I mean, I'm going to sleep like <laughs> a baby tonight. You don't even have to. I'm not moving. I already right, told my children, don't even look at daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Time to myself. Kev, thanks so much. Great to see you. And we're going to be back with more Great Day right after this.